The University of St Andrews Student Voluntary Service. Something for everyone. First, some students take a group of mentally handicapped people to Creighton Country Park. Given that there are a wide range of activities open to students in St Andrews, what made you get involved with the Student Voluntary Service? Well, I had a lot of free time when I wanted to do something outside academic interests, and I thought doing something with the community would get me involved with the people other than students. Mm -hmm. So how did you first hear about the Student Voluntary Service? I heard of it through a friend, and um, she said it was really good fun, and she got really involved with her project and she also met a lot of students and working with them at the project she thought it was really good fun so I thought I'd go along. So having heard about the Student Voluntary Service what made you first or how did you how did you actually come to join out? How did you get involved? Well there's an office in the union and uh, went up there and you fill in a form and they explain to you there you know what kind of um, mm -hmm. projects you can do and you decide, you put on this form what projects you're interested in and then you wait and see till the project leader comes to see you. Mm -hmm. And then everything goes from there? Yes. So what is the particular project that you've both got involved with? Um, it's a children's home in Dundee. When we arrive there we usually play with the young kids for a wee while and then we take them up for a bath and read them a story. And then after they're to, you know, they've gone to bed we spend some time with the older children and usually just talk to them about what they're interested in, just spend some time with them because I don't think the staff always have time to spend individual sort of time with the kids. And how often does this project run? It's once a week, every Wednesday evening. So what would you say have been the most rewarding aspects of doing voluntary work? I think um, being accepted by the community as students, because sometimes I think that the students are um, are looked upon as being just keeping to themselves. It's nice if you can mix with, you know, other people and get involved, you know, with people around about you. Do you reckon it's the kind of thing which only a particular kind of student could do? 
Oh, no, I think anybody can do it, as long as you want to get involved yeah. and help in some way. Yeah, I don't think there's a special kind of person. I think it'll come across, um, if you're enjoying your project, that, you know, you, that you'll be successful and you don't have to be. So it's something that you would definitely recommend to... Anybody? Um, oh, yes. Yeah, I think it's really good fun. Yeah. just a few of the 30 or so projects run by the Student Voluntary Service. Many of them take place outside St Andrews itself. They involve people of all ages from a variety of backgrounds and with many different capabilities. So SVS provides the opportunity to expand existing interests and to develop new skills. in our office on the first floor of the Union. You too can become an SVS projectile. She said it was really, she enjoyed it. Not only did she enjoy being a member of the SVS, she met a lot of students as well, which is quite good. Uh -huh. And working with them and doing the projects together, she said it was really nice. So having heard a lot about um, the voluntary service, how did you go about trying to join? Well, there's an office in the union mm. and we went up and signed. Stop <laughs> 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 laughing at me. <laughs> Come on, we're getting off to <laughs> start of this. <coughs> Right, yes. So, sorry, how did you actually go about, um... Joining. Join. <laughs> Joining, having, having heard about the, the student voluntary service. I went up to the office in the union and um, <laughs> filled in a form and then we got 
we got our sheet of all the different projects they had so we could sort of take our time decide what we wanted to do because I didn't know everything that was on offer <laughs> <laughs> so to speak <laughs> let's get all our giggles over in there <laughs> um, so which project did you finally decide on? Um, it was a children's home in Florence Booth in Dundee uh -huh. And I also want to do another one maybe next year, which is visiting the elderly. But um, I thought that'd be good because it'd be another way to mix with, you can mix more with St Andrews community. Mm -hmm. how, <laughs> how often does the project run? It's once a week, every Wednesday evening. Oh, first, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's <once> <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you some lessons. Right. Yeah, that was the wrong way around. Did you mention anything about the fact that um, the project we go on, it's, there's two other projects as well? Uh, no. No, just to speak. What? There's the lift one. There's the lift three one. that go to this one. No. Bye and bye. Are you ready to. Did you mention uh, about the SBS one? Do you don't want me to mic the question? I'll keep the mic pointed over there. So. Um, is that okay? We're not happy with Because we keep... Uh, since, since there are a wide range of... Act uh, since there are a wide range of activities that students can pursue in St Andrews, what made you uh, both get involved with the Student Voluntary Service? <laughs> right, we'll start off with Emma, because Emma did that one before. Okay. I can't remember what I said. Right. You said you wanted, to, that you oh, wanted yeah. to get involved in something apart from academics. Oh, that's right. Right. That's right. I'll phrase the question again. Do you want, oh, sorry, do you want me to say that you're not someone other than an academic life? No, I can manage. <laughs> I must say I could answer oh, okay. something as well. Never mind, you <clears> answer <throat> Given that there are a wide range of activities that students can pursue in St Andrews. What made you get involved with the Student Voluntary Service? Well, I had lots of free time and I wanted to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was him. <laughs> Don't look at him, just speak. Right, I had lots of free time and I wanted to do something outside academic interests. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is me. <clears throat> Do I have to look at him? Can I look somewhere else? <laughs> no, I'm if sorry. I look somewhere else, you're going to start laughing. Oh. Um, sorry, I'll get over my. It's going to be a day like that today. <laughs> we thought we were able to do for laughing. Right, okay. Given that there are a wide range of student activities available to you in St Andrews, what made you volunteer for the Students' Voluntary Service? Well, I had a lot of free time and I wanted to do something outside academic interests. And I thought doing something with the community would get me involved with the people other than students. Mm -hmm. So how did you first hear about the Student Voluntary Service? I heard of it through a friend and um, she said it was really good fun. She got really involved with her project and she also met a lot of students and working with them at the project she thought it was really good fun. So I thought I'd go along. So having heard about the Student Voluntary Service, what made you first or how did you how did you actually come to join out? How did you get involved? Well, there's an office in the union and uh, went up there and you fill in a form and they explain to you there, you know, what kind of um, mm -hmm. projects you can do. And you decide, you put on this form what projects you're interested in and then you wait and see till the project leader comes to see you. Mm -hmm. And then everything goes from there? Yes. So, what is the particular project that you've both got involved with? Um, it's a children's home in Dundee, and um, it's, it's quite good fun to look after the kids, you know, just to play with them in the evenings. It's good in the summertime because they all want to go outside and play. Mm. But and how often does this project run? It's once a week, every Wednesday evening. So, what would you say have been the most rewarding aspects of doing voluntary work? I think um, being accepted by the community as students, because sometimes I think that the students are, um, are looked upon as being just keeping to themselves. It's nice if you can mix with, you know, other people and get involved, you know, with people around about you. Do you reckon it's the kind of thing which 
only a particular kind of student could do? Oh no, I think anybody can do it, as long as you want to get involved and yeah. help in some way. Yeah, I don't think there's a special kind of person. I think it'll come across, um, if you're enjoying your project, that, you know, you, that you'll be successful and that you don't have to be. So it's something that you would definitely recommend to... Anybody? Um, oh yes. Yeah, I think it's really good fun. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very long. Oh. <laughs> That's your oh, sorry. So what exactly happens on, on your project? Well, you usually play with the kids and just give them a bit more time. The staff don't... <laughs> <laughs> Face me the way. Give them, give them the... <laughs> sorry, mate. But you still have to take the weird in the picture as well. You can look away. Given like that there are a wide range of activities uh, open to students in St Andrews, uh, what made you originally want to get involved with the student voluntary service? Mike pointing up towards your face. I've forgotten about that. There's another mic there. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Given that there are a wide range Given that there are a wide range of activities open to students in St Andrews, what made you get involved with the Student Voluntary Service? Something else. They start. Yeah. And they don't sort of... You're all talking. Actually, yeah. There's a big shadow of the camera on the wall behind. Is that OK, John? That angle. <laughs> Given that there are a wide range of activities open to students... <laughs> Given that there are a wide range of activities open to students in St Andrews, given that there are a wide range of activities open to students in St. <laughs> given that there are a wide range of activities open to students in St Andrews. What made you get involved with the Student Voluntary Service? <laughs> Did you get all that? Do something like that. Um, but that's what's the main thing if we can get that. Okay. But uh wait to see it on film as well. We're not going to see it, <laughs> so that's okay. <clears throat> what happens on your particular project? Well, when we arrive there, we usually play with the young kids for a wee while, and then we take them up for a bath and read them a story. And then after they're to, you know, they've gone to bed, we spend some time with the older children, and usually just talk to them about what they're interested in, just spend some time with them, because I don't think the staff always have time to spend individual sort of time with the kids. <laughs> so, I'm so. <laughs> do you want to do that with the kids? I can't think of anything else to say. Don't look at me as you're disbelieving me. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> what happens on your particular project? Well, we play with the kids for a wee while when we get there, and then we take the younger ones up for a bath and read them a story before they go to bed. And then the older children, we usually go down to the lounge and speak to them about what they're interested in or read books or things like that. Generally just helping to do interesting things with them, the staff don't always have time to do. Given that there are a wide range of activities that students can pursue in St Andrews, what made you volunteer for the Student Voluntary Service? Well, having a lot of free time, I wanted to do something other than my academic interests. And I think lots of students uh, leave after four years having done absolutely nothing other than, you know, their degree. And they don't get much practical experience doing anything else. So I thought, uh, sort of, doing something with the community... <laughs> oh, my! That's when you started talking about practice. <laughs> well, you said that <laughs> just get away with a degree. I mean, it was a degree. We just want to be able to get <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Get your phone out of this way. Right. <clears throat> Given that there are a wide range of activities open to students in St Andrews, what made you volunteer for the Student Voluntary Service? Well, having a lot of free time, I wanted to do something other than my academic pursuit. Oh no, sorry, I can't say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, good. Given that, Give me a are... chance to <laughs> Given that there are a wide range of activities open to students in St Andrews, what made you volunteer for the Student Voluntary Service? Well, having a lot of free time, I wanted to do something other than my academic interests. And I thought doing something with the community would be interesting. <laughs> oh Last time. Last. What is so ridiculous sorry. about it? And I'll cut it out. This is the way you speak. I'm sorry. Don't I speak like that all the time? Yeah, you do. It's just him. Given that there are a wide range of activities that students can pursue in St Andrews, what made you volunteer for the Students' Voluntary Service? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, having so much free time, I wanted to do something other than... Oh, Mike, would you... Sorry, should I go away for this bit? Yeah. <clears throat> having so much free time, I wanted to do something other than my academic interests. And I thought working with the community would be interesting. Um, I think lots of people, after four years of work here, uh, they get a degree, but they have done absolutely nothing outside working. And I think it's a good thing to get involved in something other than the university itself. Good. Good. What's that? Did that make sense? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Is that it? Um, I think you just want Is that the mental you have? No. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. And were you there as well? Mm -hmm. That's the mental health. Yeah. The roof was doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you see any problems? Yeah. 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 Y